These are the Audio-Technica ANC70 over-the-ear active noise cancellation headphones. Hi, Dan for your diary. Today we're going to take a look at the Audio-Technica QuietPoint ATH ANC70 active noise cancellation headphones. These headphones have an MSRP of just a little bit less than $200. They are available directly from Audio-Technica or through an assortment of online retailers. And uh, let's take a look. These are, as I said, noise cancellation headphones. You can use them with or without the cable. You can use them to listen to music or simply to block out uh, the ambient noise if you're traveling. I actually used these on my recent trip to Detroit for uh, NAIAS with Ford and found that they worked really, really well with the noise cancellation and that they were really comfortable. So let's dig into the specs and then let's look at the headphones themselves. The Audio-Technica ATH ANC70 headphones have quiet point active noise canceling technology. The company reports that it removes environmental noise by up to 90%. The 40 millimeter drivers with rare earth magnets offer, quote, impactful bass, accurate mid-range, and extended treble. The headphones have an integrated mic volume and controls for compatible smartphones, and it has an easy-to-press illuminated logo button on the ear cup to manage music and phone calls. So what do you get inside the box? Inside the box, you get this really nice travel pouch. It has the audio technical logo here. Uh, a nice handle so you can carry it, and it is a very, very solid case. This is going to do a great job of protecting the headphones. That's a really good thing, especially because of something we'll look at in a second. I have to say that when I did first open the package, I was a little disappointed, a little bit underwhelmed. The headphones actually ship in clear cellophane, and it just really, it was not a pleasant unboxing experience. It's neither here nor there because that takes about five seconds and then it's how do they fit? How do they sound? Are they comfortable? Does the noise cancellation work? But I will say that the plastic was rather unimpressive um, at initially. So uh, the headphones are in here and then you have up here a nice little pouch that integrates into the uh, top of the case. And here is where you keep the straight cable that ships with the headphones as well as the two adapters that ship with it, you've got a 3.5 millimeter uh, adapter here, and you also have an airline adapter for planes that use the double prong in their audio system. So let's look at the headphones themselves. They um, are very, very lightweight. I was very surprised at first by how light these are, and um, they are made largely out of plastic, and they feel it. And I did think at first that they felt really, really flimsy. And that's the reason I think it's so great that they ship with a really good carrying case because these are plastic. These are not heavy duty metallic uh, headphones. You do have metal here for the band, but the joints here and everything else is plastic. And you really, you're gonna have to be careful with these. I don't think they're, they're delicate, but they also are not ruggedized. So you're going to want to be really careful when you're using these. There's a nice memory foam up here and the ear cushions around here have a nice bit of foam. Uh, these are exceptionally comfortable. I will say that they are over the ear headphones and they are light and there's a plenty of cushion so that they are the type of headphones that you can put on and wear for hours at a time with minimal to no discomfort whatsoever. I certainly found them to be totally comfortable on the flights that I, uh, when I was using them. The headphones don't use a rechargeable battery. Most of the noise canceling headphones that we've looked at in recent months have had a rechargeable battery built inside. These don't. You actually pop up one of the ear cups, pull off the plate, and it uses a standard AAA battery. Now that's, uh, that's actually a really nice thing because if you're going on a long trip, you simply have to have an extra AAA battery or two and you'll never run out of juice, as opposed to if you're using rechargeable headphones, if they run out of battery, you need to actually spend the time to recharge them before you can use them again. This, pop it open, pop in a new AAA battery, and you're good to go, and you've got the noise cancellation functioning once again. The headphones have uh, minimal, minimal controls. There is the cord jack right here. There is a physical button for the noise cancellation here. And they do have, and this is a nice feature, there's actually a volume control on this ear cup as well so that you can have the, uh, the audio source in your pocket or somewhere else 
and you don't have to actually reach for that to change the volume. You can simply do it right on the headphones themselves. They do have an integrated microphone for using them for phone calls, which is another nice feature. The headphones, when they're on, fit very, very comfortably. As I said, they're very, very light. There's plenty of cushion, and they do just physically block out a lot of the sound from the second you put them on. Turn on the noise cancellation, and it's actually easy to find it without even having to look. And it does a really good job of cutting out the ambient noise. Um, this cut out a huge amount of what's around me and there wasn't even that much uh, white noise around me, but now I'm in my own little cocoon. You don't have to be plugged into music to really allow these to do their job. And I will say that when I used them, I was on a small plane one of the times I used these and they did a great job of blocking out most of the engine noise. When the noise cancellation is turned off, you still get a lot of the physical barrier to the sound, but it's not the same, obviously not the same thing. That's why you want active noise cancellation. So the big question with these is really, how do they sound? And uh, the answer is, it depends. When the noise cancellation is turned on and you're listening to music, there's plenty of bass and it's a very pleasant listening experience. I would not say that these are the best headphones I've heard, um, but they certainly are far from mediocre or bad. But uh, they're good. They're good. When you turn off the active noise cancellation, you can still listen to your music, but it's really thin. Um, it doesn't have the bass. It doesn't have the body. It's a little bit muddier. So these are headphones that you're really, if you're getting these headphones, you're not getting these for casual listening at home, I don't think. You're getting these because you're traveling. And you're going to want to use them either just for the noise cancellation without anything plugged in, which is really nice because no cables, but you just get rid of the engine noise and the noise of the people around you or plug them in, listen to music or movies on a plane or on a train, these are gonna serve you really, really well. Um, if you're at home, sure you can use them, but I've had other headphones that I think I enjoyed the music, uh, listening to them more, and you don't have to have the active noise cancellation turned on in order to get the best experience. So what's also nice is that this button here will play or pause your music, take a call, uh, hang up a call, or if you push and hold, in the case of using a Nano, it'll actually give you the track and tell you that I'm listening to more Chiba Living Hell. So it's actually very nice because it doesn't look like a button, but it's right there and it's very easy to find because it is uh, textured and because it's right in the center. So overall, what do I think of these headphones? I think they're actually, if you're in the market for a pair of over-the-ear noise-canceling headphones and you want something that is going to be super comfortable and sound good or a little bit better than good, these are a great option. They're uh, just under $200 MSRP, so you're gonna be able to find them for less. They do fold up nicely when you wanna put them into their carrying case. The carrying case does keep them nice and protected. They've certainly worked perfectly well when I've used them when I've been traveling. They work perfectly well if you wanna listen and just uh, block out the world. And uh, they're, worth, they're worth checking out. They are very, very light, which is one of the huge benefits and adds to the comfort. These are the ANC70 Active Noise Cancellation Headphones from Audio-Technica. This is Dan from Gear Diary. Thanks very much for watching.